Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an all-new Reaction and Review. Tonight, folks, I'm taking another film off the Amazon.com wish list. Uh, for, for, for those of you who are really curious, uh, the uh, you know, link is actually on my channel. If you want to go on, if you want to go and buy something, by all means, go ahead, send it out. It will actually guarantee a hell of a lot more episodes for me because then I'll have, you know, stuff, stuff to work with. Tonight's film comes from Brazil. In fact, it comes from a very infamous Brazilian animation studio. Uh, I should really explain this. I put two movies from that studio on the wish list. One of them that was heavily, heavily requested, and one of them that I actually was sort of, you know, interested in checking out. And funny thing, uh, the one that was sent was not the one that everyone was requesting. First of all, now the studio... I'm only going to say this studio's name once. I'm going to attempt to pronounce it once, and then I'm never going to mention it again. Uh, the studio's name uh, is Video Brinquito. I believe I believe that's how that's pronounced. I do I do I do not speak Portuguese, so I wouldn't know if that's right or not. Uh, however, since since this company just uh, just loves to rip off a of Pixar and, and DreamWorks, but mostly Pixar, I'm going to just call it Brixar. Short for Brazilian wannabe Pixar. The, you know, wannabe isn't really featured, but who cares? This is the first film in what will probably be many from Brixar. And uh, tonight's film is uh, actually based on, or actually it's a knockoff of one of my favorite fr franchises. The franchise has been near and dear to me ever since I was three. Uh, that franchise is Transformers and the horrible knockoff which they... Uh, which they opted to ship forth is Gladiformers. Um, now, while I was waiting for my laptop to power up and waiting for the DVD load, I was uh, looking at the DVD case. I was looking at the cover. First of all, I just want to say this. Uh, the, the good news is this thing is really short. It only clocks in at about 67 minutes. So, wait, is that 60? Yeah, that is 67 minutes. I am not going to um, have to... I have no idea if this thing is going to be any a, a, any good, but uh, since I've heard people say nothing but horrible things about films from this from this studio, I can only assume the absolute worst. So, if this thing is even just a little bit, and if this if this thing even if this thing is able to entertain even just a little bit, it will actually be a hell of a lot better than even I was assuming. So it's time to sit back, relax. Kick back and in attempt to enjoy Gladiformers. Wow. You know, this thing actually has a really cool opening theme. This actually is kind of rocking. I kind of hope that everything is going to continue in, in this pace, but this actually sounded pretty, you know, decent. This thing has got some of the corniest dialogue I have ever heard. And the voice acting kind of sucks, too. Okay. We are just over five minutes in, and I've heard one guy talk about god bots at least three times. And if there is a god bot, then I am a robot atheist. I'm saying that right now. Wait a moment. Wait. Wait a second. Are you telling me that we don't even actually get to see the these things transform? We get some fucking, you know, goofy-ass cutscene cut that actually makes it happen to look almost like it's assembling like Voltron? God, this is fucking awful. Okay. The first... Now, now the first battle is over. Nothing makes any sense. This fucking writing is just so schizo. I'm, I cannot understand what the fuck's going on. Mind you, I, I am watching the English fucking dub of, the dub of this thing. And they're making no sense at all with it. You know, this is supposed to be, you know, this is supposed to be like gladiatorial combat with 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 fucking expert warriors these are probably some of the shittiest fights i've ever seen what the hell that was that was just the fuck did i just see okay 
I swear to God, you could make a drinking game out of this freaking movie. Every single time you hear a person mention the god, the fucking god bots, you should take a drink. I guarantee you would you'd be completely plastered within 20 minutes. I guarantee it. Okay. I really have to ask this. Because uh, our main character here, his name is Julius Drive, apparently is a prince who was sold to slave traders. How the hell do you sell a prince to slave traders? I'm really curious. I want that to be explained, but I strongly doubt I'm going to get a fucking explanation. Oh, man, the writing. Oh, God. And there's still about 40 minutes left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is gladiatorial combat. There are no holds barred, but one of but one of the judges is going to protest because he attacked from behind. Logic. Logic, you ignorant motherfuckers. Have you ever heard of it? Apparently not. I swear, guys, I swear to God, these, this, no, these are probably some of the most laughable fight scenes I've ever seen. It's actually almost sad. Okay, so, apparently, in this large coliseum, there's a giant red cartoon mallet just hanging from the ceiling. Good. God. You know, I really wish that some of this made at least a bit of sense. But no. Not a single bit of this hideous thing is making any sense at all. So... Let me see if I've got this shit straight. He... He stored a shit ton of power in his arm, which caused everything in his body to overload and him to explode. Oh, I'm gonna need an aspirin when this thing's done. This, my fucking head hurts. You know, I find it really funny. They are actually trying to give us back, you know, fucking, like, backstory on these characters, but it's not enough backstory. I swear to fucking God, I have no idea what the hell is going on, because they're only giving us about a quarter of what would be a complete story. It's really beginning to annoy me. <laughs> wow. He just had his head cut off. And that was the choppiest, glitchiest looking head falling off of a body I have ever seen. This is some of the shittiest CG I have ever fucking seen, guys. You know, I find it really funny. This whole thing has built up to this one fight. And it's probably the shittiest one out of all of them so far. So wait a moment. So our hero, rather actually than putting his his arch rival out of his misery, he basically just let him bleed out in a robotic sense. Oh, thank you, Jesus credits. So yeah, it ends with Julius Drive letting his letting his art letting his arch nemesis essentially bleed out. Wow, bravo, you are really a family-friendly program there, you know, Gladiformers. Okay, it's time for me to shut this crap off. I, I will say this, though. The song is pretty cool here. All right, let me pop out the disc now. Oh, oh, oh. I really don't think I, I've ever actually had a, you know, reaction statement as the credits are rolling. That is probably a first for the series. So, <laughs> Gladiformers. What to say about Gladiformers? Oh, oh boy. Well, uh, first of all, I'm going to say this right now. The, the fucking CG. 
Um, it looked like, and I am not, and I am not making this up, and I am not trying to downplay this. This stuff looks like it was rendered on a on a Nintendo sixty four. It really is that bad graphically. Um, and what's really funny is that this thing's only a couple of years old, but it looks that bad. Looks just absolutely hideous. Um, the acting. I can tell you right now, uh, the actors um, are mostly are mostly regulars from uh, four kids, and usually they can at, they can at least put up like a passable job over. I mean, like whenever they're working for four kids, but apparently they had absolutely zero motivation when it came to this thing. Uh, all of them are just basically there, and they're just reading off their freaking lines. It's actually kind of sad. I'm putting that fucking thing down. I'm just this close to just fucking snapping it. That, oh, that thing was awful. The writing, holy shit. Y you know, guys, uh, I have spent a lot of episodes talking, you know, talking about how movies were would be in desperate need of a fucking editor, to s someone to go in there and actually trim, to go and, like, trim off needless shit. This thing needs a competent writer to actually add to it. Because, I swear to God, this thing is really only giving you about half of a story. Um, it basically is just showing you a, you know, gladiatorial tournament. And they have a ton of backstory where our main character, who is a prince regent, was somehow sold was somehow sold to slavers, and now he's fighting in the tournament, and his arch-rival who was the second in line for the throne behind him, is the one who sold him to the slavers, but he's also in the tournament because a friend of the prince, who's also in the tournament, talked the supreme bots into putting the sa Oh, fuck me. It makes no sense. This thing could actually have used like a half an hour like prologue at the very start to just try to explain a few things, actually show us what the fuck is going on. And the worst part is, guys, this thing clocks in at 67 minutes and there's a ton of padding. It does not spend in, it doesn't spend enough time giving a story, but it has to pad it out. It pads it out with these lengthy cutscenes. And since this thing looks like a goddamn video game cinematic, I'm going to use the term cutscene for this, which shows them transforming from vehicle mode to robot mode and it's not really transforming as much as as, as much as it's disassembling and reassembling into a robot form. Um, there's also a whole lot of really lost potential here in the sense that uh, even though we see them transform into robots, none of them transform into their vehicle mode uh, when it could possibly be a strategic advantage. Uh, which, I guess, would make sense if the person who wrote this wasn't fucking brain dead. So, uh, and uh, again, I have to go and harp on the frickin', on the frickin' animation, of, of, you know, a little bit. Nothing has any weight. These things are, you know, you know, cars and helicopters and semis that transform into these big lumbering robots, but there's no weight to them. All of them are moving around and swinging around as if, as if they weigh nothing. Pretty much, all of them are moving around as if they weigh as much as this pen, all right? There is zero weight there. Uh, top it off, there also are very few sound effects, and the ones that are in there are so freaking muffled, you can barely hear them behind the music and behind the horrible voice acting. So, I mean, there is, there is almost no positive to this. The only thing I can say is it had a fantastic soundtrack. And the story, if it actually were handled by a competent writer, if it was maybe handled by a competent studio, uh, could have possibly made for a fantastic movie. It actually is a fascinating premise. It would probably be, be great if it was worked into if it was worked into the actual Transformers mythos, perhaps written by someone who actually knows something about that. Uh, you know, it might actually have been promising. It might have been cool. But um, rather, but, but, but rather than be decent, it's this horrible like failure that it is just painful to sit through. It is painful to sit through because it is because it is ugly to look at. The voice acting is god awful, and the story, which uh, which 
you know, as I have stated, would be really promising in the hands of someone who knows how, how to write. It just sort of sits there and stagnates. There's nothing there. There are no positives there. So, really, uh, if you guys ever see this thing on a store show, wow, that thing really just, like, focused in and out there a little bit. must have been because of the glare. Um, this thing is so hideous that if you guys find this thing on a, you know, store, uh, on a store shelf, I want you to go to, I want you to go to the manager of that store and complain because they should not be allowed to, to, to sell shit on plastic. Now... This is the first film I've done from, you know, Bricks are. Again, I am not calling them by their actual name. I do not respect them enough for that. This is the first of what will probably be, be many. There are two more DVDs from this studio on the Amazon wish list. One of them has four of their goddamn movies on it. So if anybody wants to go out and pick up those and send them out my way, that those will probably make for some really interesting episodes. If any of those are even half as poorly written and poorly done as this thing was. Um, I do want to close out by saying that uh, this one was another DVD that was sent in by a user, a YouTube user. His name is, his name is Hellbond. And once again, guys, uh, if you now if, if you haven't checked out his, his channel, please swing over there, take a look. He actually has some really you know decent uh, stuff. Again, if you're into if you are into common rider merchandise, he really he really does re review a lot of that, and it's actually pretty good. And I'd probably be a little bit more interested if I care about you know common rider, but I don't. So, uh, but anyway, uh, go ahead and check him out. And once again, I want to thank him for sending this. I want to thank him for sending uh, Feebles as well as the other two movies that are uh, down here in my little you know shelf that I still have to cover. I'm going to get those other two done soon. Plus, I have a few others here from a couple other people, a few I have no idea exactly who in the hell sent them. Uh, so, you know, if there's anyone out there who actually wants to step forward and say, yeah, you know, I actually was the one that bought, eh, and just tell me which, which, which one I can credit you when I get those done. So, folks, with that, let me, I'm si ooh, that thing banged off something over there. I'm sick and tired of handling that uh, disc. I just have this horrible feeling I'm just going to destroy it in my fucking hands. It's so awful. Uh, <laughs> with that, folks, we come to the close of another reaction and review. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.